get there. This is a lemon M guy, he's in his chair. I think about buying it. Yes. What's up, Ray? You find something? Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to find the price tag for this radio. You're actually thinking about buying that? Looks like it belongs in a museum or my grandparents' attic. I don't know. I, I guess it looks kind of cool. If you're going to buy it, just don't overpay because I don't even know if the thing works. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to buy it and then we can head out. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys outside. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mark? Hey, Ray. What's up, man? You still at work? Yeah, yeah. I'm still here finishing up. Hey, you listen to the radio at all tonight? Mm, nah, I can't say I have. Why? Is there like a celebrity interview or something? Nah, nah. I, I got a, this radio a few days ago, and, and ever since I bought the damn thing, it, it's just been on the fritz. And I didn't know if that was happening to anyone else. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess you're right. I, I, I should finish up here. Uh, thanks, bro. I'll, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Mr. Radio finally decided to show up. What's got you late in breakfast, man? Sorry, guys. I was working on something this morning, and I just got, I really lost track of time. What was so vital that you missed the most important meal of the day? Listen, remember how I got that old radio a few days ago? It's been picking up this broadcast, like a secret code or something. And it's not just that radio, it's coming from my car radio, even my radio at work. Well, what do you think it is? Aliens? Are you gonna start wearing a tinfoil hat? Listen, Ray, I love you, but you're on some next file shit right now. I don't know what it could be. I spent all morning looking at everything about codes, and I just can't figure it out. It's just not working out. Ray, are you even sure that this code is worth decoding? I mean, like, this could just be a prank. Like, somebody on campus could just be playing a joke on you. Yeah, it sounds like something a frat would do. Nah, uh, this is different. I doubt any of those frats are sober or nerdy enough to do anything like this. It could be like what Dr. Hertz was telling us in our media through history class today. Wait, what did, what did I miss? What did he say? Well, if you didn't miss to play Super Spy, you would know. 
Dr. Hertz was telling us a story about this guy on the radio reading War of the Worlds, and everyone went crazy because they thought it was actually happening. Oh yeah, Orson Welles from the 30s, right? I wonder if people still do teleplays. No, it's gotta be something more than that. I, I can feel it. This gives me an idea. Maybe Dr. Hertz would know something about this. I, I should go talk to him. Hey, don't forget, you said you go bowling tonight. Don't worry, I'll be there. Hey, Dr. Hertz. Uh, sorry to bother you. Are you free right now? It is my office hours, Ray, like it says on the door. Come on, sit. If this is about you missing today's lecture, I'm sure you can get the lesson notes from one of your friends. No, this isn't why I'm here. There's been this strange broadcast coming from my radio the past few nights, and I don't know what it is. And? It's been broadcasting these different numbers and languages, and I've tried to crack the code, but every time I do, it just turns out to gibberish. So why come to me? Well, I know you know a lot about radios and broadcasting, so I thought, why not come to you and ask, and maybe you could give me a start. I'm assuming this pet project is why you missed my class today? Yes, sir. Well, that sounds like quite the discovery. But let me ask you this. Are you sure this is something you want to devote time to? Some mysteries are best left unsolved. I have to crack the code. I have to. Much like a bolt, if someone wanted to keep something safe, they put more than one lock on it. In that sense, someone might want to put a code inside of another code to keep it safe. So if I decode the message once, then I use a cipher to decode it again, I'll get the message? It's possible, but codes and ciphers are far beyond anything you should be looking into. Take my advice. You need to focus more on your studies rather than these conspiracies. I'm still waiting on yesterday's assignment from you. Oh, okay. Well, thanks anyway, Dr. Hertz. I'll be sure to get that assignment turned in later tonight. Just be careful, Ray. Trying to crack codes that aren't meant for you could get you hurt. Or worse. I understand, sir. Thanks again. Swansig, 20. Venadu, 22. Trois, 3. Dectu, 12. 21, easy. Dose, Two. I figured it out. Shoot, I'm late. That must be Mark and Connie. Hey guys, sorry. I finally figured out the code. It says... It's Mark. Just call me when you can. Just trying to make sure you're uh, still going bowling like you said you would. You know, Ray, you had me kind of worried this morning when you were late to breakfast. I know you've been working on that code, but it seems like you're kind of getting an obsession. It's not very healthy, man. Is it coming? Look, just, just give us a call if you decide you're going to show up. Anyways, just let us know you're still alive. I'll see you, Ray. Peace.